Okay, now joining us now to continue our inspirational story segment is the talented Megan Ania with her daily The Edge Workday radio show and over 33,000 subscribers on her and her boyfriend Guy Mansell's YouTube channel. Megan is here to share with us all the journey to body positivity and the importance of loving ourselves. Let's welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Megan. Yeah! Hey. Oh, thank welcome. you. Thanks. It's really nice to have you here. So nice to be here. So well. you're on the radio all the time. Yes. Um, how do you find time on the edge? How do you find time to actually start the vlog? Um, that, that actually has been a really hard thing. We um, we did two videos for about six months, two videos a week, and we had to take it down to one because we were literally finding ourselves working every single day. So we've taken it down to one, but we do it on the weekends. It's it's a lot of work, but it's one of those things where it's it's enjoyable and we chose to do it and start the channel, so we can't really complain. So why we? did you want to start it? Um, I, I first started off like not not anticipating that guy was going to be involved at all. I just wanted to do uh, fashion videos because I was finding um, stylists, professional stylists were struggling to find clothes to fit me for photo shoots that weren't just black or baggy or, mm. you know, um, made for people who are a lot older than me. You know, I was mid-twenties going through photo shoots and um, it, was, it was extremely frustrating seeing my co-hosts and uh, beautiful other female presenters on the edge uh, wearing fabulous colourful clothing and I got like six items that were just plain and monochromic and I thought that's not that's not what I wear in my everyday life and if a stylist is struggling to to find clothes to fit me mm -hmm. how is the average Kiwi woman doing it so I just yeah. wanted to um, show where I shop and it kind of exploded from there. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, Megan, love your work, and for those that haven't seen any of it, where have you been? Let's check out this clip. For me, I kind of cut out the whole, like, I'm beautiful in my own way. Like, I just kind of cut out the whole looks thing altogether, and I just focused on being mentally healthy, mentally happy, and being a good person, because those are things I can change. It's like me sitting here going, I wish the Eiffel Tower was taller. Like, just an inch taller, and then fretting about it and worrying about it and going on about it constantly day after day after day can't do anything about it i focused on being funny happy and nice um and that and that's how i changed it and that's how i became body positive because i started liking the person i was oh awesome okay so <laughs> you know, going red god it's so funny you just never watch it back yourself do you? <laughs> no but it's good and, I, and i'm curious <clears throat> did the confidence come from doing the vlog or did you have to have the confidence before you did the vlog no i had it beforehand i had um i had, had an eating disorder in my past and um and i had always struggled with what i looked like and um my weight and who I was and I suddenly found myself in media and in the spotlight and on a national show and I thought something's got to change because I needed a positive role model when I was younger to look up to and I knew I wasn't being true to myself because I was quite ill mentally um, and so I needed to change it and um, I'm lucky that I, I got better and um, from doing that I did put on weight because my body was so restricted for so long mm. um, but I, I had to learn to believe it myself and not myself before I could teach anyone it. You know, there was no way exactly. I was going to be able to tell, it wasn't going to be believable if I didn't believe in everything I yeah, see myself. Yeah, accept yourself because you can, people can see straight through things and yep. you, don't, you don't believe what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. So how do you think it's changed life finding this body positivity? It's, it's opened countless doors for me because um, when I was younger, I mean, I, I don't, I didn't go to the beach, but from 14 to 23, you know, I didn't go to a swimming pool. I just didn't have togs, full stop. So how many, all these summers I missed out on, all these activities with my girlfriends. I know my girlfriends went on a trip to Fiji together and I just didn't get to go along. Well, they offered me to go, but I made the stupid excuse because I didn't want to be mm. in a bikini at the beach. And it's, it's so sad. I think about all these awesome things I could have done. And um, I had a look back in my old diaries um, just over the weekend and it's sad because if I lost my memory tomorrow and I had to go off these diaries, all there would be about was complaining about my weight and hating myself. And there wasn't anything about fun or going out mm. or meeting new people. So for me now, I mean, I'm so excited for summer and I never used to be, I used to hate summer because it meant less clothing and it meant um, I had to, you know, try and make up excuses mm. to not hang out with people and go away. So um, well, just open, opening doors. Well, at least you've worked this out now, apart yeah. in, your, in your 50s or 60s or yeah, 70s. Yeah, I know. And it's so, it's so sad because I do get feedback from women who are in their 50s, 60s, 70s. And I think a lot of people do think it's just a teenage girl's problem because of social media, but it's not. Mm. It's, it's men and women, and it's women of all ages that are still hugely struggling that I'm finding with the feedback. It must be incredibly humbling getting feedback and knowing that you're helping people. What would you say, Megan, to people that are watching now? Um, it is 
It is really humbling. It's really hard to read, actually, because a lot of these women um, are obviously very smart and they write well and they're funny and you can just... They, they really show their personality through the emails and then they tell me how sad they are and I think, oh, that's... I, I just It makes me so upset because... Um, they're, they're wasting so many opportunities. We're well, not wasting, but they're missing out on opportunities and being happy because they're so worried about what they look like when it shouldn't be like that at all. So, I mean, it's a really hard thing. You don't just wake up and suddenly love yourself. It's, it's like you've got to constantly remind yourself it's, 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 yeah. it's work. That's what I found. It was work. And um, I went to a hypnotist years ago, funnily enough, to try and lose weight. And, um, <laughs> and he told me that if you repeat something enough to yourself, it will become learnt. And that's why... If people say, if you do something seven times in a row, it becomes a habit. And even with religion, you say the rosary a certain amount mm. of times. So I just think all the messages we're being sent from society saying that you're not great until you're perfect, you've got to try and counteract that with positive things about yourself just to yourself. Exactly. And um, no one's going to love you until you love yourself. Yeah, yeah. And I do think that's a true thing. I think that people will love you, but you won't accept it. You know, mm. I don't think you'll ever find true happiness if you're sitting there so self-absorbed on on who you are and you will never feel comfortable fully around them if you don't yeah. love yourself. Well, I think you're an inspiration to mm. a lot of people. So thank mm. you so much for coming on the Thanks, show. Thanks, guys. It has been an absolute pleasure. Now, for more inspiration and some definite laughs, you can check out Guy and Megan on air on YouTube right now. Yeah, they are a great couple and a good inspiration. Good to see you again, Megan, yeah. too, by the way. It's been a while. <laughs>